Pine Bluff Arsenal has been run by the U.S. Army for more than 75 years. Most recently, it's known to be the location where chemical weapons were disposed. That mission was completed back in 2010. The arsenal is still busy today, creating products that protect our soldiers. It's now hoping to boost production, which in turn would boost the local economy. Fox 16, Stephanie Sharp, the only reporter to get a behind the scenes look. The Pine Bluff Arsenal is still active and helping protect soldiers even today. A new textile program creating this chemical protective patient wrap, helping soldiers in wartime missions. This, among many other things, helping boost the economy in Arkansas. With a needle and thread, this fairly new program is weaving its way into the Pine Bluff Arsenal. We're trying to, you know, increase our workload. Caitlin Belknap is a project engineer. I've been with it since the beginning. She says what these women are sewing is life saving for soldiers in combat. If a person is, you know, wounded and they can't don their protective equipment, then they're put into the bag and they can be carried through the contaminated area. It's just one of a handful of programs Army civilians work on at the arsenal. And it analyzes uh, chemical agents. Another project decontamination kits for the military, the gas tick vapor monitor, and the gas detector. The city of Whitehall's mayor, Noel Foster, says the state is looking to expand what the Pine Bluff Arsenal can do. That's why leaders from the defense industry from across the country are visiting and touring the facility. Try to bring jobs and to create and sustain viability in military missions on the installations. All in an effort to find other partners for the arsenal and boost the economy, not just in Whitehall or Jefferson County, but the state. The arsenal has a large uh, economic uh, impact on all of central and south Arkansas. For Belknap, it's important they expand the arsenal's capability because it's personal for her. Both my parents were in the military, so uh, this is really close to my heart, and I'm glad to help protect the warfighter. Everything made here fit for a soldier. This is the patient wrap line. Uh, the patient wrap is also a carbon impregnated material. Helping protect them on the front lines and boost the economy back home. The Whitehall mayor says after this two day event, he'll be meeting with members of the defense industry, hoping to potentially partner with the arsenal.